everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today, I have a very exciting thing to try out with you guys. So a few weeks ago, Acer contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try one of their new products. And today, I'm gonna to be trying out their new laptop, the Acer Concept D Easel. And here's the cool thing about the new Concept D Easel. It turns into a tablet. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. And you can actually draw on it, and I am super excited to try this out with you guys because it is like kind of revolutionary in like for animators and illustrators altogether, especially people who prefer to use Photoshop as a, as a software for drawing. It's cool. I really want to try it out for you guys. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about the new Concept D easel while creating an illustration on it for you guys. So let's get into it. So here is just some footage of me unboxing the Acer Concept D3 easel. I was just kind of getting acquainted with all the different elements like the tilting screen that transforms into a tablet, hello, and also where the pen is situated which is it's like it has its own little compartment. It's all very like compact and uh, it just makes sense if that makes any sense. like where everything is situated and the way things move just all really just make sense and they feel comfortable, which is awesome. I opened up Photoshop and I started uh, sketching out a little design and yeah, I just started sketching. I was kind of getting acquainted with the different pen sensitivity preferences and just how the tablet reacts to the way that I personally draw, which like everyone draws in a different way. Everyone has different weight on their hands when they draw and yeah it was just I was just getting acquainted with it. I sketched out this cute little pose of a girl and um, she's gonna have like a bunch of butterflies around her it's gonna be very you know summery very pretty and uh, while I sketched that out uh, I'm just gonna give you guys some uh, some of my opinions about the device uh, straight off the bat. Yeah, it's like an amazing hybrid of a laptop and a graphic display tablet. Um, like as an artist myself, I was super excited to like, try creating on it and see how comfortable it is to create on it. The first thing that I noticed uh, was that the hinge on the screen was very sturdy. So I was afraid that it was gonna be very loose and like it moved way too much, but it's actually super sturdy and it stays at whatever angle you want. Uh, whether it be like halfway into tablet mode, if it's just like closer to your face, it just stays wherever it is like really well. And that's obviously very helpful. <laughs> you know, you don't want your screen moving around when you're working on it. So I really enjoyed that. The pen as well, I think I should talk a little bit about it. It's very light and tiny. It's like almost weightless. It's super, super light, uh, which is awesome because as you guys know, uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, I've been suffering a lot from like wrist pains recently over the past year from drawing and stuff. And this pen honestly just made it so easy to draw. It didn't like flare up my wrist at all. It was just super helpful in that department. So. For me personally, that was a win. Uh, but in terms of how it like transfers onto the tablet, AKA like the connection of the pen on the screen, it was also really good. It glides beautifully on the tablet screen. Um, so the screen is basically very like, it's very smooth, but it's also got like just enough grip that um, it, it like helps with drawing. As you guys know, I don't really love it when the, the screens are way too like shiny and glossy as it I feel like it's like the pen's just slipping around on top of the screen and I don't get the amount of precision that I need. But this screen has just the amount of grip with the tip of the pen and it's just like, honestly, it's a dream. So I really enjoyed that detail in particular. And yeah, the connection's great. It picks up on so many different pen pressure sensitivities and like I could create very different types of lo like opacities, especially later on when you get to see me like shading in and doing the, the shadings. I like to play a lot with like opacities and uh, just like build up color as opposed to putting down like a flat, very opaque color. So that was definitely uh, something that assisted in the way that I draw.
So yeah, in terms of like the pen and the way that it's been built uh, for people who like creating in tablet mode, I think the Concept D3 easel honestly really excelled in that. As I said, the artwork that I personally create, as you guys know, it's a lot of like um, based on painting. So I love building up color in like different opacity layers. I like, you know, playing with overlays and stuff like that. And um, for that, you really do need something like that assists the way that you digitally paint like that um, in terms of how much pressure it um, picks up on and I think the Concept D3 easel did very well in that department. The accuracy of the pen also is perfect, it works really nicely, it like it just it just knows what I'm doing and it just I had like really no trouble at all with drawing um, on it and I could just you know make this this very you know detailed rendered illustration on um, in tablet mode without any issues which is great. Another thing that I noticed that I really enjoyed is that if you, for example, like drawing on your laptop, but you know, you're still using the laptop as a work laptop, it's really easy to go back and forth between laptop mode and tablet mode. So I do this a lot while going back and forth um, from looking at emails and drawing on Photoshop. You just lift up the screen a little bit. You don't even have to go fully into laptop mode. You can just lift it up slightly. And you can just, you know, reply to an email real quick and then go right back into tablet mode. And this flexibility is like something that I, I think is going to be really, really helpful for any creators out in the art industry, because you can just go from, you know, working on your laptop and replying to emails to immediately creating wherever you are. Uh, you don't even have to like, you know, connect a third party graphic display tablet. You don't have to, you know, just be connecting all these cables. It's just there. The laptop itself is already the graphic display tablet. You could be working at a coffee shop when, you know, Rona ends. Uh, you could be working at a coffee shop and, you know, just immediately be like, oh my god, I have an idea, I need to jot this down. And, you know, just create right there, wherever you are. And I think that's so awesome for, um, you know, uh, a laptop to be able to provide that amount of, you know, flexibility in your work life. So yeah, this was like probably one of my first times actually drawing a bunch of butterflies. I don't think I've ever drawn a butterfly, uh, if I'm completely honest. So it was really fun to try drawing something different as well. Um, I drew like some monarch butterflies, I think they're called, um, and some of these blue butterflies, which I should know the name of by the amount of hours I've played Animal Crossing, but it is escaping my mind right now. But yeah, I drew basically just a bunch of butterflies and it was really fun to play around with opacity and coloring in something that was a bit out of my comfort zone um, and it, I don't know it was just really fun honestly just creating all the patterns on the and the veins on the on the butterfly wings it was just a lot of fun and it was also like really cool to just be able to you know explore color a little bit more you guys know that over the past year or so I've been trying to explore how much color I use and the the types of palettes that I use and I've just been working on my color usage so you know this was just a very fun piece for me to play around with that as well I also wanted to touch upon being an animator and having this laptop because um, you guys, animation is going to be incredible with this. Um, so with animation, I always prefer using either like a tablet or a graphic display tablet to work on because obviously there's a lot of details, a lot of frames, it's just the easier way. And now with this laptop, I can literally just go into animating without having the hassle of setting up my workspace every time, which is normally what puts me off from animating in my free time is because of all the hassle of setup. But with this laptop, I can literally just go in and just animate on what Whatever software I want. You guys know that I normally use either TV Paint or Animate CC to do animation, uh, whether it be for, you know, in my free time or for commissioned work. But yeah, this one's just gonna make life so much easier. The cat 
So yeah, as you can see here, I've just been adding some details to the face. This is, as you know, my favorite part of any illustration is editing in all the renders and the details in the face. It's honestly the best part for me for drawing, like adding eyelashes and the little subtleties of the highlights and the, the light reflections. It just really makes the drawing pop and I love it. So yeah, I was just adding in the details also to the butterflies and her shirt and just to her hair as well, which you guys know I love rendering hair, which is weird because I don't think anyone does. <laughs> Yeah, I gave her a bit of a blush and I also went in and added some rings because I thought that that middle part of the illustration was needing something like an extra element. It was looking a bit, you know, top heavy, so I wanted to add some more at the, at the middle there. So I just gave her some rings, which I think really, you know, finished off the drawing really nicely. So yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with this device. Um, I think it's going to be amazing for artists everywhere working in the art industry, as I said. It functions awesome as a work laptop, as well as a tablet, where you can just like switch to creating artwork just like that. If you're a creator out there who's watching this video and you're on the fence about whether to get a nice laptop or a graphic display tablet for creating your artwork, the Acer Concept D3 Easel has both, okay? You can do whatever you need, it satisfies all of your artistic and work needs. I highly recommend it for any designers, illustrators, or just any creators out there really in general. And that was pretty much it for the illustration that I created today, you guys. And as you know, I really enjoyed this device. I think it's going to be really revolutionary and really helpful for anyone out there on the fence of what to spend their money on. I think you should really invest in something like this as it provides pretty much the best of both worlds uh, in the amazing words of Hannah Montana. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful for you guys to hear these opinions on the new Concept D3 easel. And I hope you enjoyed watching me illustrate on it as well. So thank you again so much to Acer for reaching out to me and asking me to try out their new product. I love it. If you guys are interested, I'll leave all relevant links down there in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. -bye.